Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the classically trained singer, dancer, and actor who plays Maurice <laughs> Webb, the hilarious no holds barred banker on Tyler Perry's Sisters on BT. Let's take a look. I mean, he just seems like a really nice guy. I was just thrown off by that. Just ask him. I already did. He told me he was straight. Straight, straight, or straight with a twist? Can't you just find out if he is and, like, you know, ask around or something? Absolutely. How about I just hop on the Queen's hotline and see if anybody knows him? Because all of us gays know each other. Embarrassing it's so bad. It is crazy. Yes. Is yes, crazy. yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Well, you're looking good, brother. Thank you. I got on my good coat. Yes. yes. And, 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 and you know what? You have Biggie right here. That's it. And you have Obama right here. Obama. And then you have a B right here. B. That's uh -huh. me, uh -huh. Obama, and, and Biggie. Biggie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right good there. Heroes. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Good, All right. good. <laughs> well, before we jump into everything that's going on with you, I, you get your workout on with the cast. With the men of the cast of your show, is this something you guys do? To oh my goodness, oh. I didn't know we were gonna be that picture. <laughs> my yes. God, today. Yeah, yeah we are. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, they they like to work out. They work out. <laughs> but you stashed in the back though. Why, yes, why, why are you stashed away in the back? Well, let me right. let me see. <laughs> tell me about I was, that. Uh, I was eating before they started, <laughs> and so I ran in just in time. And took <laughs> right. my I, yeah. yeah. Something you guys don't really do on a regular. Maybe they do, but maybe not. You know, I I, I do it. Okay. Okay. Um, they start a little before I started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they, have, they, they have six packs. I have a snack pack. Okay. And it's all good. Somebody gotta bring the snacks. That's, that's, right. It. that's, that's right. right. That's right. Right. So listen, you are a classically trained singer, dancer, and actor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So at what point did you become attracted to the arts? Um, it's so crazy. So growing up, I grew up in a Baptist church, mm -hmm. and so. Church is so uh, theatrical. It sure is. Yes. And, um, yes. and I didn't realize that I had a knack for performance until I got out of church or, well, I don't go to church as much, but out of the house. Like, grew up and mm -hmm. I didn't start performing until I was like 18 or 19. Okay. 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 Um, but my grandmother was very, very hard on us about being involved. So I did Christmas plays here and mm -hmm. I was always funny, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I was chasing uh, tail. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In college. Oh, 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 I was like, at the and, church? Um, no, no, no. Okay. In, in, in college, and there was a a girl who I liked, and she okay. was doing a play, and she wanted me to read with it, and I read it. Uh, that's how it's so good. Oh, she led you into your career then. She led right. me into it. Look at God. She did you up in the okay. scene like, yes. <laughs> it don't even call for a kiss, but she's like, but yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> I <laughs> say a kiss right. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you feel that that versatility has definitely benefited you mm. in acting? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know what's what's crazy is I have such a big, big, big theatrical background. A lot of film actors just don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so with filming with Mr. Perry, um, he films very fast. Mm -hmm. yes. And so I think mm -hmm. that most times productions, regular productions, um, hour long dramas maybe film eight to nine pages a day. Right. We do about a hundred pages a day. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, and serious. so, yeah, so my wow. theatrical experience mm -hmm. helps with just live. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's like theater. We do the quick changes. We, we, we filmed 25 hour long episodes in three weeks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, it was tough. And so I think that the versatility that I've gathered through theater and, and working with Debbie Allen, because I train with Debbie Allen. Yes, and she's yes. A, awesome. something Phenomenal. Else. Yeah, yeah, she's well, let's, tough. Well, let's <laughs> talk about the work that you're doing with Tyler Perry Sisters mm -hmm. on BET. How did that come about for you, and what has that been like for you? Uh, it's been amazing. It's been crazy. I, I was trying a long time to book something on television, yes. and mm -hmm. the truth is this is my first television role. Mm -hmm. And um, I've done film, and I've done a lot of theater. I've done off-Broadway and national tours and things like that, but my first role was a series regular role, and how it happened is long story short. Um, the casting director, Raven Drummer, who I love hey, so Raven. much, yeah. um, <laughs> she reached out to me about reading for The Oval. Mm -hmm. And from The Oval, they cast someone else. And, um, <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, and um, so then they called me. Life projection is God's <laughs> protection. That's yes. it. Right. And so they called me, they called me back in for several other roles on Sisters. Maurice was only a recurring role. He was only supposed to be in seven episodes. Mm. And after Mr. Perry saw my audition, he gave me 21 Come episodes. On. Maurice wow. is very lit. Yeah. Yeah. Maurice is very lit, though. Yes. <laughs> yes, Maurice is very lit, as you just said. <laughs> so, you know, so speaking about Maurice um, on Sisters, all right, Maurice Webb doesn't shy away 
from his no, sexuality no, at all, right? Mm -hmm. So he's always expressing himself authentically. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this. How is Maurice an extension of Brian? You know what's funny is Maurice is, um, me and Mr. Perry worked very hard to create a very grounded um, gay black man. Mm -hmm. I feel like oftentimes on television, and usually when black people don't produce it, we see black gay men in a light that is not very grounded, not very true, and also mm -hmm. superhuman. Like, mm -hmm. And I just feel like gay black men are human. Mm -hmm. yes. And so mm -hmm. what's real about Maurice is what's real about me. Yes, I yes. speak my mind. You know, I feel very um, confident and speaking what I know, what I believe, and also I think that Maurice speaks from a place of love. Mm -hmm. It's funny, yes. right. but he loves, right. he, he, he wants love and he is love. Right, mm -hmm. it's good. And I was gonna say real quick though, how important is it to showcase this, um, you know, in this climate that we're in? How, how important is it to be a voice, do you oh, think? I think it's, um, first off, it's an honor. Yeah. And I think that it's of the highest importance. I believe that today's um, society has lent itself to be more accepting of LGBTQ um, communities. Mm -hmm. But I think that on a black network mm -hmm. um, with a black producer mm -hmm. and millennial cast, that it is important to show all facets yes. of black life. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that Maurice is just a, a gift to the world and a gift to me. So oh, yeah. expound a little bit more on how important it is to uh, for a show like Sisters to show the range of black millennials. Absolutely. Well, I think that um, in Mr. Perry's catalog, which is very extensive, mm -hmm. uh, so much money, um, <laughs> <laughs> there is, this is the youngest show, and I'm very grateful to be a part of it, and I think that he has a new partnership with Viacom and BET, and I think that Millennial life is something that is very, very, very important. Yeah. Um, and I think that the importance of showing how we live and how we work and what we own and what we do is just important for people to see, especially older people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, before we let you go, let's talk a little bit about your music. Are you gonna have, gonna delve into your music? I mean, you're yeah. classically trained. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm classically trained, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. I, um, unlike Selena, don't have an album coming out in January. <laughs> And, um, we'll but I'm excited. Things. You know, I'm excited yeah. to uh, get a bigger fan base so that my music can be successful when I'm ready to. Right. Put it out. Yes. My God, Love you it. should try the stage too, man. You are very, very funny. Uh, like, hey, be a comedian. Now, that's what I will be doing it. this year. Really? Yeah. I'm stand up. Yes. See, yes. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. no talent, man. You're talented, bro. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to catch Brian. Okay, Rashawn. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and the incredible cast of Tyler Perry's Sisters Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern on BET. Yeah.